Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to parse XML data in Android. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all, you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can give the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is XML parsing demo. Then you can choose the language and then you can click on the finish. I want to parse my XML data into Android using the XML pool parser class that is the inbuilt class of Android so uh, let me first create my XML file so I'm just creating my XML file I'm, uh, in my notepad I'm just writing that uh, you can just mention the XML version is equal to I'm just mentioning the version that is 1.0 then you can <coughs> close the XML tag then you can define the tags uh, root tag i'm just defining the root tag is records inside slash records you can write everything now here you can define the different tags i'm just defining the student here in student you can define the tag with the id for example i'm just uh, mentioning the id 101 then comma you can provide the name i'm just giving the name is for example darshan then you can close your student tag right uh, once you close the student tag you can just copy the same you can define another tag i'm just giving the name of this uh, id is 102 and then 103 i'm just giving the name over here uh, this is the frame and this is the kevin now once you give the three records of student i'm just adding two records of teacher i'm just adding here teacher id is equal to for example triple one and the name of the teacher is for example para then you can copy the same and you can add one more name of the teacher for example path and you can give the one one two now you can save this your xml file i'm just saving in my desktop and you can give the name of your xml file i'm just giving the name of my xml file is file one dot xml then simply you can copy that particular XML file inside your assets folder of Android. So very simple here in Android Studio, you can just uh, click on the app, then right click new and here in you can click on the folder and you can create uh, click on the assets folder. Then you can click on the finish. Then it will create the assets folder over here. In this assets folder, we need to copy our file and that is our file1.xml this file1.xml you can just copy and you can paste into your assets folder you can just press ctrl v and click on ok that file will be available over here you can just see that a student uh, having the three records student id and name uh, another records here you can uh, remove the comma it is not required Right. Once you copy your XML file over here, that is a student ID and name, ID and name, ID and name. Now, uh, there are three records of the student and two records of the teacher. Now, I want to pass this data inside my um, Android, right? So, I'm just uh, moving to activity main. Here in activity main, instead of text view, I will add edit text over here. So you can click on show layout decorations. Then, here you can uh, go for the edit text. I am taking the edit text that is multi-line text. Here in edit text, you can click on the infer constraint. And then I am just setting number of columns. Uh, sorry, lines. Number of lines is 5. It means here uh, 5 record can be put. Uh, you can say 10 also. I am just setting the lines that is 10. I want to insert the record over here. I want to uh, pass the data from XML and that I want to pass over here in this edit text. Let's start how to do this. Very simple. Whenever you want to pass any data, you need a variable that is your XML data. I'm just declaring one variable XML data. We need to open our file. So it is available in assets. Dot, you can call the function that is open. Here you can just give the name of your file. I'm just providing the name of my file that is file1.xml. It means my this file data is loaded inside the variable xml data 
of type input stream once it is done you can set the factory variable so i'm just declaring factory is equal to xml pool parser factory dot new instance is the function using this you can generate the you can initialize your variable of the factory now we need a variable related to parser so you simply you can call factory dot new pool parser and your parser variable will be initialized once your parser variable is initialized we need to pass our xml data into parser so simply i am just writing parser dot set input you can say and here in input i am just passing the xml data whenever you pass here xml data here you need to pass the check and argument in which what input stream you want to do i'm just passing the null value over here see now what happened this my parser in parser i input the xml data once my xml data is available in the parser now i will uh, fire the loop and i will find for the different different tags so i'm just calling variable event is equal to parser dot you can get the event type event type can be start tag event type uh, can be end document so you can just uh, search while event not equal to xml pool parser dot and document it means until and unless the document get not over i want to execute this loop right simply you can write over here variable tag name is equal to you can get the tag name using parser dot name tag name means what a uh, tag name like uh, for example see here uh, this in this my xml file this student is a tag this teacher is a tag right so i'm just getting the tag name until and unless uh, i want to check for the particular tag name and i want to execute this loop for until and unless my event reach to the end document so i'm just uh, initializing my event variable again and i'm passing the parser dot next so what happened it will execute the loop until and unless uh, my parser get the next doc next uh, token and it reached to the end document now once you uh, get the end tag you can just uh, pass your event inside the switch case in uh, java and when inside the kotlin so here in kotlin i am just passing the event whenever you pass any event here you can uh, now uh, look for what see xml might be a chance it can be a start tag might be a chance it can be a end tag so i'm just writing here xml pool parser dot and tag here i want to write the condition if the tag is end it means whenever in my xml parser is reached to end tag over here for every record suppose in first record if it is reached to end tag it means uh, this two value is reachable this, this is the attribute value 0 and this is the attribute value 1 um, here index is start from the 0 right so here you can search if tag name equal equal student so i'm just filtering the record of the student if tag name equal equal student then you can retrieve your data uh, get attribute value 0 is your first value that is your id so i'm just declaring one variable over here variable name is equal to parser dot you can get the attribute value and you can pass the index i'm just passing the index is 0 then you can write parser dot get attribute value 1 then you can also pass slash n if it is required or you can add the slash n in front uh, before the attribute value so i'm just uh, adding a slash n over here slash n plus right now once you get zero and one both attribute value we need we need to bind this value inside our edit text so i'm just doing what say edit text dot you can call the append function and you can pass your name value what happened whenever it reached to end tag of any tag related to student it will retrieve the zero value and one value and it will be added to our edit tag edit text let me execute this application once it execute you can check that see what happened first of all 
it will read to your file you can check over here see the three records darshan prem and kevin it means the student records i get from xml file inside my android right suppose if you think that i want to retrieve the record of the teacher you just need to change the name of the tag if you write here teacher it means that the record of the teacher will be loaded over here you can just check see the record of a parag and path is available over here suppose if you think that we want the record of teacher as well as student so you can write this two condition if tag name equal equal student or tag name equal equal teacher then retrieve the value right so what i can see here here the record of the student as well as the record of the teacher both will be available over here so this is the way you can parse your xml data inside your emulator this is my xml file and i am parsing the data over here in my emulator this is the way you can uh, parse your xml data that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you